What is up guys, it's Vince back here again with another super character video. Uh, look, this time it is the BBL round 3 review. And look, a pretty uh, pretty disappointing score again for our third round. Yeah, this definitely just ain't going as well as I hoped it would, honestly. Um, yeah, just we'll jump into the team, have a bit of a look. Um, we, yeah, scored a 759, went up to 5,078. So we are at least... Still heading in the right direction, but yeah, plenty of things that went wrong this round. Um, first one being that Stekity, who we brought in, got a zero in game one and then didn't play game two, so that was pretty disappointing. Um, look, positives, Sutherland as our captain, second highest score, and Webster, who we brought in, was an absolute monster, so really good there. Um, we did have to field Fraser McGurk, who got his two, which was really unfortunate. Uh, Madison's 37 isn't the end of the world. Sanger's 13 also isn't great. Yeah, a lot of really poor scores across the field. But I mean, if we look at the three we brought in, we brought in DeCock, pretty good score. Like, I'm happy with 91. Um, Webster, 217. What a monster st score. That's so good for us. And then Stekity was a bit of a letdown there uh, with the zero. I did talk about maybe we just bring in the imports instead, Ralph and whatnot, and then we just trade them straight back out. I'm pretty sure that would have netted us many more points, so it's a bit unfortunate. If we do just look at the round scores, let's see. Um, yeah, Ralph 105, Mia 113, so yeah, that would have got us some nice points if we went in that direction instead, so a little bit unfortunate we didn't go in that direction, uh, Rogers had a massive second game, um, so congrats to anyone that was on Rogers, because he hadn't been so hot yet, uh, Sam's had a massive game, I mean, I say he has a massive game, he comes in for the last over, and they all just keep trying to swing for the fences and he picks up uh i'm pretty sure three wickets and a run out which was pretty nuts um yeah got him to a monster score as well and then wade just had a massive over from him so yeah some big scores there um what we're looking to do with our team i mean with the fixture at this stage we've got thunder on the double this week and then we've got melbourne on the double the following week uh we've got perth with double buys at this point so Connolly just ends up as our loop that we'll be using uh, positives is that we did hold on to short who's going to be very nice to have here if we do look at the break even game uh webster has an awesome break even short obviously has an awesome break even same with overton um other short as well so we have some good break evens here and there with some other break evens we might want to look at uh i mean fraser mcgurk's break even is now not very good uh he's about 100k so he's worth a decent amount of coin now so we can definitely move him uh, I don't even know if I move him on. I feel like I can just slip him to the bench and move Madison on because Madison's been significantly worse. Uh, but McGurk's been really rocks and diamonds. Just comes out and either pumps out a massive one or goes out real quick, real fast. So definitely something to consider there. Um, any other ones that stand out to us? Maybe Zampas isn't great. I don't know, I, I'm assuming Stekity is going to play with probably Ralph and Mia. I'm pretty sure they're both leaving now. Um, maybe they've got one more game in them, but hopefully Stekity plays that. If not, he can just sit on our bench. It's whatever, it's not the end of the world. Uh, and then he can come back hopefully for the double the following round. Unless he's injured or something. I, I didn't see any news there. I wasn't too sure why he didn't play. I'll be honest, I'm just naturally assuming that he didn't get named because he sucked hard in game one. <laughs> like, that's... That's literally what I was thinking, um, but that may not be correct at the end of the day. Um, let's see if there's anything I can see here. Nah, that, 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 look, keep up on the news, guys. See if you can find it. Obviously, we've got games tonight, so that's why I'm getting this video out as soon as possible. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, trades, as I said. Um, oh, man. I think we're probably looking at moving on Zampa here as the numero uno. Fraser McGurk or Madison, one of them needs to go. Okay, for now we'll just say Madison, because we'll see what we can do with the rest of this. I have a question, is Bancroft a, a wiki keeper? I don't think he is. Yeah, it's just Jikes, okay. Okay. Now, if anyone is on Perth players, good time to move them. Uh, as I said, recommend holding on to one to loophole at this point. Um, there's something I did want to look at as well. Is we're just going to click on break-evens. Is it going to be Paul Walter, still number one? He is still number one. 
We could bring him back just to ride this break even, and they do have a double coming up eventually. I think maybe round six potentially. Um, we'll check that out in just a second. Oh man, I really want to be filtering for like these Thunder players. Sam's has to come in. That's a must have. And Melbourne Stars. Cartwright's also, yeah, good break even, playing really well. Where's Bancroft? Is he like. Okay, so his break even isn't as crazy anymore. I mean, didn't even. I think he had a decent game for what I saw. Oh god, he's really expensive though. Jason Sanger is back too, but he's probably batting up the order at the moment. Hales came in for a good game. We have two swings at the cherry, but he's a bat only, which we're not really fans of. Look, at this point, let's just get Sam's in. And that doesn't leave enough cash to really do anything with. And that's the problem if I was to be moving on Madison. It's just there's not really any cash tied up in Madison. I kind of want to move on to take it here, but like... <laughs> It's probably not correct. It's probably better to hold on to him. Um, I guess maybe we move on McGurk too. Let's, let's see. So if we move on McGurk as well. So let's take the filter off these two teams. Let's put Walter. Oh my gosh, he's 155 now. God, so expensive. Okay, maybe we keep Madison then. If we keep Madison, who else can we move on that's expensive? Uh, I don't think it's going to... Yeah, I need to do that to do that. Yeah. Then you put Walter in. Okay, 150k. What can we do? Yeah, Harper actually had a decent game this week. Yeah, I actually don't have any any wiki keepers, so I probably need to keep Dukok, and he's pretty cheap at his price right now. I feel like he's break even. Thirty three is totally attainable for him too, so I'm fine keeping Dukok. Um, maybe move on the chief. Don't really want to move on the chief, and maybe the chief is the answer. I said Stickety could be that answer too with that zero, but. I don't think I get anything from him. He's too too cheap. I mean, he's too cheap if I'm bringing in Walter. Maybe I just accept that Walter ain't happening. I don't have any buy like doubles right now anyway. But if we don't bring him in now, he's going to be so expensive by his next double. Oh, man. Uh, I can click on names down here, right? And that'll show me the double games. When was their next double? Okay, so it's not till 7. As I said, though, if we don't get him now, though, he's going to be so expensive. Hmm. Maybe we just accept that Walter isn't happening. We've put ourselves in a position where we just don't have enough cash for it. As I said, he really should be holding on to Stakety. He shouldn't be getting moved. Sorry I didn't work this out before, guys. I just... Just on the fly. You know how it is. Cartwright's also quite expensive too. Oh, that's uh, that's annoying. Mm, I mean, I could technically go Madison out, and then I can bring in Harper and Hales. Their options. Stone is actually bold too, which was cool, but I'm pretty sure sucked. What do you score? Forty-three. Not good. Yeah, look, I literally haven't looked at any of this before I sat down, guys, so sorry in advance. I probably should have done that. Um, I mean, Bancroft playing Wicked Creeper is definitely better, but way too expensive. Yeah, at our price tag. Move 66 out, at least 200k. Oh, sorry, 190k. And that means we can maybe get away with... As I mentioned, if we go to Sammy Harper, not enough room. Hmm. I 
This is pretty disappointing, guys. Pretty depressing looking at the moment. Okay, I think the only reasonable thing to do at this point is we got to go Fraser McGurk back in. Look at these players. I mean, Abbott's on an 82 break even. He's just losing more and more cash at this point. 82 break even. How much has he lost? Only six. Why is his break even so goddamn huge at this point? The thing is, I really like Abbott, and I feel like he's quite consistent. I feel like I'm going to get 50s out of him. But Sutherland does bat and bowl. And he has that DPP swing. Okay, maybe we go Abbott. Which is so annoying because we held him for so long. <laughs> um, if anyone has news on Stakey, just like tell me. Like I don't know. I'm hoping he's back for his double, but it will he be? Who knows? Um, obviously, we're not picking any of them. Car right is bat only, so we don't really swing for that. And this does open up a lot of money, though, at least, which is really nice. I like what Andrew was actually doing. I'm really surprised he lost money. What? About 12. Sad. <laughs> I feel like he was really good the first few. Yeah, 33 in a single, 59 in a single. He was pretty good in his singles. But then the 12. A bit unfortunate. I do not like the way Hatcher looks when he plays. Man, none of these Thunder guys are like jumping out to me. Um, okay. Since none of them are jumping out to me, let's just get Bancroft for now, which is probably incorrect. Swing down Sutherland, and then that lets me go for, like, Harper. And Harper's probably not a good pick either, someone that hasn't really been in form. And that does put me in a position where I've either got a field phrase from a Gurk, Short, or Harper. Oh, man, that doesn't feel good at all. Uh, always be seeing Sam's. Um, and then we're going to see short in a worst case scenario. Hmm. I mean, this is already much better down here, this line anyway. <laughs> but let's just say we do this for now. Webster's going to come on for Steckity. Swipson can come there. Yeah, this works out. Oh man, I don't do I really want Fraser McGurk on field though, so inconsistent. Sorry guys, just realized I wanted to make some quick changes into the team here. Something that I thought maybe looked a little bit better. Uh, I'm thinking if we actually go, we don't go for Bancroft here. We actually bring Walter in. It does free up an extra 31k, uh, which means that, you know, if we are bringing in Sam Harper at the end of the day, let's just complete that. Uh, so let's trade Harper, move to cock down. Sorry, I wanted to move to cock on. That makes no sense. What was I doing? Sorry, there's definitely something better I saw in my mind. Give me one second. Uh, maybe I'll just quickly reverse all the trades. Just to get the answer here. Let's just undo these. So, we were going to go Zamps out. Because I wanted to try and keep Abbott. Uh, I think I'm fine for us to go to cock out at this point. And then was McGurk the other one? We'll have a look in a second. I'll just quickly bring in the players we want. So one there. Harper there. Yeah, and then that leaves a lot of cash over for us to go. Sam's out. 
not quite enough. So it's definitely not Madison. It was definitely McGurk. Yeah, there we go. I think they're the way. That's the way I wanted to do this. I think that ends up with a better team on field, and I get to keep Abbott, who I wanted to keep. Uh, and Walter's break even still comes into effect at this stage. Yes, less points because Bancroft won't be playing his double, but I think this is just better. Um, it does mean that to play Harper on field, though. That's that doesn't feel great. I didn't realize that before I did this. Hmm, I guess that's something to take into account. Do we move on Abbott or do we move on to Cock? Abbott, who's been such a staple, but Harper, who's been really bad, and honestly, someone I'd much rather have on the bench. I don't really want to flip him on field. That seems a bit crazy. Hmm. Sorry, I don't know if Sticky's playing. I mean, definitely looks better down here in the bowling line and in the batting line. Like, those two lines look way better. Like, they look insanely good. Very happy with both of those. But then we have Harper, and it's like, mm, now that doesn't look insanely good. <laughs> Not happy with how Harper looks at all. Uh, if I wanted to move Connolly. No, I don't even want to move Connolly up. Who cares about these guys on the bench? So we take a hit in the wicketkeeper line, but we actually get a pretty sick bat and bowl line, in my opinion. Walter on field, so we're going to be making money out of him, which is very nice. Uh, and it means when he's round seven by, comes round, he will be there, which is, it, it's nice. Bancroft has been in good form, though. Players in good form have been kind of crushing it. But I think tall pull's pretty good. Yeah, I think this is this is how we'll do it. I know it doesn't look very good, guys, in the sense that the batting line, sorry, wiki keeper line, but the rest of these lines, I think, look really, really nice. Um, I need to be a bit careful here, actually, because if I want Sam to score, oh, I can still just rotate them around and change the emergency after game one. Oh, no, I can't rotate them around and change the emergency after game one because those guys would all be gone. Oh, yeah, I, I could. I could just use Overton or something instead. That makes sense. That is fine if I was to do it that way. Yeah, no, it all looks good. Uh, honestly, I think that looks much better than what I sort of had left it out before. Um, yeah, leave the comment down below if you disagree with that, if you think previous was better. But, yeah, anyway, I appreciate you all for sticking around to the end. I appreciate those for liking, subscribing. Those that have followed along on my X, you can just find me at Verns underscore S see um feel free to just at me or ask me send me direct messages in there probably not bbl stuff uh bbl stuff i'm not a superstar at but if you are doing mbl or will be doing afl those are things that i am much doing a lot better in and feeling a lot more confident in myself so yeah anyway till next time guys thanks for tuning in peace later